Hi, I'm Leah Miller with Creative Aging Network MC. Welcome to our demonstration video on how to make geometric art. The supplies you will need are watercolor paper, bleeding art tissue paper, and decorative tape. Here's an example of the finished product. You see we have this really beautiful decorative tape. We have these lovely colors that are made with the use of the bleeding art tissue paper. Before I get started, I'm going to put paper towels underneath my paper so that as I add water, I don't get the table all messy. My next step will be to lay out a design with the tape onto my watercolor paper. And for this demo, I'm just going to keep it really simple and just put a few lines on the paper. Once I have the tape laid out how I want it, I will just fold the edges of the tape over to the back of the paper. And that will just help the tape remain secure. So there you go. You can see it's folded over onto the back. And I'm just gonna press it down nice and firmly to help prevent any buckling as we add water. My next step is to begin adding color. I'm going to first add clean water using a wide brush to my paper. And once I have this whole area wet, I'm going to choose the color I would like to use or colors. I actually really like these bright pinks. So I'm going to use them right over here in this area. I can, I can uh, tear the paper too, as needed, to fit in some of these other areas. So I'll take my brush again and just add a little more water on top to help that color bleed out underneath. And we just leave it there. You'll see the color will start to bleed out around the tissue paper. So I'm going to do this all the way around the white areas of the paper, adding the colors that I want as I go. Just want to make sure that the whole area exposed is covered with water. In my last painting, I used lots of different colors, as you can see. I added reds, you know, pinks and reds and areas, and then all blue kind of purples and areas, and then the greens and yellows. This time, I think I'm going to stick with a, a simpler color palette. I am going to just use these pinks and reds. I have a lavender here. We'll see how that works. As I get some colors down, I'll add water again and just let, let the colors bleed out of this tissue paper. That's the beauty of using this bleeding art tissue paper is that it does most of the work for you. And so what you end up with is Good, good surprising effect. Keep working my way around, wetting the paper, and it's okay. You can see this color bleeding over. That will happen. It doesn't bother me any at all. I think I'm going to add another color in here. It's a little different than what I have on my paper already, but I really am curious to see what the impact will be. Perfectly fine to tear up the paper as I'm doing. You don't have to use big sheets. There's no particular size. There's no wrong way to do this. You can add the bleeding art tissue paper to dry watercolor paper and then put water on top of it but it doesn't have the same um, 
beautiful bleeding result. Now, if I want to, I can take, I'm gonna take a smaller brush and I actually can begin pulling the color around my paper a little bit if I, if I would like to, if you want to do that, it's certainly again, not necessary, but it will just give you a different effect. So I'm gonna take my big brush again and finish up this last little section here. I still have some pink on my brush and that's okay because I'm, I'm continuing to use these pink colors. If I did not want the pink color, I would just wanna make sure to rinse my brush out thoroughly before adding water to my paper. If it puddles up in areas like this, you can actually take it and move it around. Kind of adds to this beautiful effect with the colors mixed together a little more. It's okay if they bleed over top of the tape onto another side. There's no problem with that. I'm letting that happen. I think it looks really interesting. I do wanna just pull this color over all the way to the tape. Even though the uh, Bleeding Heart tissue paper is a water-based product, it will stain your fingers. Over time, a couple of days, it'll wash off. The next step is just to let this dry. And after it is dry, your tissue paper will just peel off fairly easily. Uh, but we'll take a few minutes, let it dry and come back and I'll show you the finished result. Now we're back and the paper is almost dry. It's not fully dry. I am going to take a dry brush and just a little dry brush and start to peel away the paper. I'm first going to just take a paper towel and dab away any blobs of water that are sitting on top of my tape. Okay, now I'll take this dry brush and just peel up the, the tissue paper. You can see there's some areas that are still wet. So you can wait several hours until it's fully dry. It'll, it'll depend, the drying time will be dependent on the um, humidity wherever you are, but it should be dry in a few hours. And you can see these areas that are still white. That's where the paper dried before I was able to get the tissue paper um, making contact with it. Or maybe I just missed those spots when I uh, put water down on my paper. Either way, I like the result. I think it adds a bit of interest to the design. So this is the finished product. You can see my tape is starting to buckle up a little bit. That's not uncommon. With watercolor paper, when you start to work with it, it does, the paper does buckle and bow a little bit. But if you are going to frame this, then putting it behind glass and just tightly pressing it between glass and the backer of the frame, you'll end up with a beautiful finished image. I hope you've enjoyed this project. We have many more to come. Tune back in anytime. I'm Leah Miller with Creative Aging Network. Thank you.